what's going on guys so we are back here at das auto works with the golf r and before we get into today's video i just want to update you guys on a couple things if you follow along on instagram you will know that the eg civic hatchback uh, with the k series has been sold i've ultimately decided to get back into another supra or a gtr there's a lot of really nice cars coming out you've got the new bmw m4 that'll be all-wheel drive uh, the rs6 wagon they're going to bring an rs3 wagon here there's a whole lot of options but in the meantime i wanted to complete our quest for a 10 second daily with the Golf R. I've decided to partner up with Unitronic, so I'm gonna go through and show you some parts that we got and tell you what it's gonna take to ultimately get to you know a mid 11 quarter mile and then a mid 10 quarter mile, because it can be achieved, especially a mid 11 with just some basic bolt on parts. So I'm gonna show you everything. All right, so we're getting everything unboxed. I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do today. So we got an intercooler. We're gonna make sure everything is there before we uh, pull it all apart. Oh, you'll have to compare it to the stock one when you pull the stock one out. And then I think over here might be our inlet. Yep. All right, and then over here we got a CTS turbo muffler delete, which I'm pretty sure doesn't do anything. I mean, you told me it was worth it, but you know, but it can't hurt, right? It definitely can't hurt. So, and this is Unitonic's Turbo Inlet, which I do believe does quite a bit. Um, I look at a lot of dyno stuff and it's it seemed to make a pretty big difference, especially on the, everybody says if you're gonna do something, at least do the inlet. All right, so the uh, stock inner cooler is out. You can see this is the stock one here. It's kind of got the plastic end tanks. You can definitely tell this is a much, much larger, nicer unit, um, all aluminum the nice end tanks so we're gonna get that put in and then uh get our inlet put in our turbo muffler delete and then we're gonna uh actually flash it to stage two but i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to flash the car with unitronic software and then we'll go out and we'll do a whole review launch control and uh like a whole you know review of the stage two software all right guys, so now that we're back from DOS Auto, we've got all of our stage two hardware installed. I wanted to take you through the process and just show you how easy it is to install the Unitronic stage two ECU and TCU tune. One of the reasons that I selected Unitronic is because I can flash it right here in my garage. You don't have to go to a dealer and you don't have to pay each time to get the car flashed. If you have a problem, if you switch down pipes or take your down pipe off, you can just flash the car back to stock right here at your house. Keep in mind, the only required hardware for stage two is a downpipe, but in order to get the output figures that they're showing you, which is right around 400, um, you will wanna do everything else. So we went ahead and did the intake, the inlet, the turbo muffler delete, as well as the intercooler, and then of course the downpipe. But let me take you through the process and show you just how easy it is to install this software. All right, so you'll wanna to go to getunitronic.com and I'll put a link in the description below. That way you can order your tune as well as the UniConnect Plus cable. And this is the cable that actually allows you to flash it at home. So I'm gonna open this for you and show you what's all inside. And then uh, we'll go ahead and install it. Um, so right here you get your cable. It's real nice, OBD2 to USB. Um, they put some directions in here and then some stickers in here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in, get our laptop hooked up and I'll show you how easy it is to install. All right, so if you pull out the instruction card that came with your UniConnect cable, it'll show you right here. You wanna go to getunitronic.com slash uniconnect and it'll actually bring you to this page here. Next thing you'll wanna do is enter the cable number that is presented on the front of the box or on the cable itself. Um, so I'm gonna put mine in, it is UC. P. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand while holding the camera. Four, six, five, four, nine, and then you'll just hit go. All right, so that'll bring you to the next page um, where we'll have complete setup instructions as well as where to download uh, the UniConnect software. So if you pull this up, it'll bring up a PDF and it'll literally go through a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to do it, but I'm gonna show you everything here in the video. Um, so after that, you're gonna wanna click on this link here and it's gonna bring up a box and you'll go ahead and download the software. Once the software is downloaded, I will show you guys what that looks like connected to the car. All right, so once you get the software installed, you're gonna get a pop-up box gonna ask you to verify your email. You're gonna create an account and that's what's gonna activate your cable. Um, so once you get to this form here, you just wanna put in your email and then password and then you wanna confirm your password and then from there, your cable will be activated. Once your account's created, you'll come back there, you'll put your username, your password in, and that's actually uh, where you'll install the UniConnect software. 
And once that's done, I'm going to plug it into the car and show you what's next. Once the UniConnect Plus software is installed on your laptop, um, you get this little icon here. You just want to go ahead and double click on it. Keep in mind, the cable has to be connected, the USB part, to the laptop in order for the software to come on. Um, it doesn't have to be connected to the car just yet, but it does have to be connected to the laptop at the USB end. So once it loads, it'll pop this up. Now, it'll skip my login information because I click save my credentials, but it will ask you for your email and password that you had just created with them. Uh, once it gets to this part, and then it will, should bring up the part where it asks you to then plug the OBD2 into the car. Uh, yep, connect to OBD2, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we've got our OBD2 plugged in. It says, please ensure the cable is connected to the OBD2 port and the vehicle, vehicle ignition is switched to the on position without the engine running. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then from there, we will click OK. All right, detecting ECU. All right, now you'll want to confirm your VIN. Just make sure this is the VIN that you signed up with when you got the uh, Unitronic Connect cable. Click confirm. All right, and this is the main dashboard. This is where you'll do the actual flash. So there's performance flash, transmission flash, as well as diagnostic tools for both the ECU and TCU. So we're going to go ahead and do the engine flash. You'll click that right there. It'll say detecting ECU. <clears throat> Processing ECU details. Selecting a client. Loading available stages. Different stage files. So they have stock, you have stage one, stage one plus, and then stage two. And there's two different stage two files, which I will talk about. Um, so stock, the original stage one is your 91 octane. Stage one plus is going to be your, for your 93 octane. Um, the first stage two is for 93 octane, intercooler required, exhaust crackles and overrun enabled. Okay. And then stage two is going to be uh, with the cat revision. So if you don't have a catalytic converter, meaning you have a catless downpipe, um, that's 93 octane cat revision, intake, air duct, turbo inlet, downpipe, intercooler required, exhaust crackle, overrun enabled. So we're going to go ahead and select the bottom one. So the next screen you'll come to says ECU. We programmed with the following stage file, stage two. You'll click agree, ready to start, and it'll start the installation process of downloading the stage two file to your car. All right, so once your ECU is finished flashing, you'll come back to the main screen. We'll go back to ignition on. We'll go to performance transmission flash. So we'll click that. And again, this is just for DSG cars. So if you have a DSG, then you'll be able to do the transmission flash as well. And then just like our ECU flash, it should pop up a bunch of available stages and show you what's available. Okay, so we have stock original. Stage one is a 6800 RPM, optimized drive and sport mode, gear display active, improved shift speed, raised torque limits, dual launch control, set for 3500 and 4000. Uh, stage two is 6800 RPMs, optimized drive and sport mode, improved shift speed, torque limits, increased clutch clamping pressure. So you'll want to pair stage two with your stage two tune. Uh, again, dual launch control set for 3500, 4000 RPMs. You'll click on that, you'll click on agree, and it'll go ahead and load the TCU tune onto your car. Everything's done being flashed. You'll go ahead and start the car for the first time. And then one of the ways you'll be able to tell right away that the TCU was loaded onto the car, if you do have a DSG, if you go into drive, you'll notice now instead of it just saying drive, it says D1 letting you know what gear you're in, as well as sport mode will also tell you what gear you're in as well. All right guys, so that just goes to show you how easy it is to install the Unitronic software right in your own garage. I want to break this up into two parts. I want to show you guys in the first video uh, some of the hardware that we use for the stage two as well as the installation process of the software. Uh, the next video is going to be the real video you guys are going to want to see. We're going to go out and test some quarter mile, some zero to 60 with the Draggy and see exactly what the stage two can do. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.